In this video, we want to review the receivables system options that are generated by the rapid implementation spreadsheet. So if you go to setup and maintenance, setup financials, and you want to scroll down to receivables and select the manage receivables system options. And I'm going to select the Acme USA Business Unit 1 and search and let's select the link which will bring us to the page so you can see that there's quite a lot of details that has been entered for us split amount days days in days sales outstanding calculation um, application rule set you know credit card receipt method we can always go in and add our bits in there discount basis we've got a lot of defaults so you can always go in and override just as we did for the payables but it, more importantly let's have a look at some of these accounts how these accounts are generated so we've got the tax account 21530 so if i go back to my spreadsheet so all of these are generated from the spreadsheet so 21530 which is a liability tax payable and then you have Cross currency rounding account 60044. So let's scroll down and we can see the cross currency rounding account. And then we've put in the um, additional types that's the account type, rounding difference, and balancing adjustments. So it's picked that up as the cross currency rounding account. And then you have the exchange gains loss. And gain, gain that's other income. So the account type, and then you've got the financial category, which is mainly used for the reports. So we've got the realized gains and losses. And then you've got item validation organization. Again, you have to go in and set that up and then specify which one is your item validation organization. Uh, if we're using inventory and order management. Other things that you can enter, things like your email preferences, transaction delivery, statement delivery, uh, other things like tr uh, transactions in terms of printing tax invoices and so on. And then you have late charges, uh, then you have the grouping rules. You can create your own and auto invoice as well so so that's what's generated so if you go to cash processing tab we'll see some other ones like auto cash rule set again we can select ours we can say that mattress it's a first by by transaction number and then by we can select whether we want it by sales order and then by uh po so that could be or maybe a shipping reference. Auto match rule set. Again, we can define or use the default auto match rule set. And then you have other options, chargeback due date, um, days to auto apply a receipt. And then you have the exceptions, cross currency rate type. Again, we saw that in the previous screen for the accounting automatic receipts and so on. So that's how the data is generated from the spreadsheet and the defaults are used for most of the options. You can always go back and change those. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.